Alright, so I will be doing the controls video for LEGO The Lord of the Rings. Wii version. Uh, Wii U version is exactly the same because you have to use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck for uh, the Wii U to play this game. So, anyway, starting with the Nunchuck, uh, to move your character, you have to use the control stick. They just move in every direction that you can press the control stick. Uh, the C button, you can change characters, and then if you hold it down, you can get a character wheel, which you can play any character on that wheel in the story mode, and also free play mode. But free play mode also introduces a new tactic uh, that I will be showing off when we get there. Uh, the Z button, if you uh, press the Z button, you can build objects, you can use it to activate certain things. Um, if you press it repeatedly, though, sometimes it'll activate certain, uh, well, other certain things that are needed to act go through the levels. Um, but if you hold it down, you will get an inventory list of everything that that character has. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you press the B button on the uh, Wii, mode, Wii, remote, yeah, Wii Remote itself, you will attack or shoot, and then if you hold it down, well, shooting is mostly for arrows, so if you hold that down, you can shoot arrows anywhere there's a target by moving the Wii Remote around. There, you'll have a little target on screen, move the Wii Remote around, and then you can select certain objects. Uh, if you use the D-pad, you will move the camera around, which you can move that side to side or up and down. If you press the A button, you will jump or double jump. Um, double jump can also be called a combat roll, depending on what you're doing. Um, there are some characters that if you do a, a jump and then press B, there's like a certain jump attack they can do, um, such as Gimli. If you use the plus button, it's a pause that'll show the in-game options that you have in the levels and then out in the Middle Earth uh, giant field area. Uh, out in the Middle Earth field, uh, you'll if you press the minus button, you'll get a map, and that's about all the controls for this game. So uh, just click on the bottom of the screen to go back to the prologue. I'll see you guys there.